A very good evening. You're watching the live 7 o'clock news broadcast from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the high-level international meeting on Syria, held on the initiative of the European Union on the sidelines of the 72nd session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York. He affirmed the importance of accelerating the response to the political, economic and humanitarian crisis in the Syrian Arab, Arab Republic, along with enhancing cooperation between the major countries concerned to achieve a comprehensive political settlement based on Security Council Resolution 2254 and the Geneva Statement of the year 2012, respecting the will of the Syrian people to return Syria to the path of security and stability. The minister praised the outcome of the Astana talks, affirming the need for all parties to abide by them and not to allow any party to exploit them in order to serve the expansionist ambitions or support of militias, stressing the need to preserve the unity of Syria. Sheikh Khaled pointed out that the disaster facing the brotherly Syrian people is the worst humanitarian disaster since the Second World War, affirming that the Kingdom of Bahrain has been and will remain committed through the Royal Charity Organization to providing various forms of help and support to the people of Syria. The minister expressed his appreciation for all countries hosting large numbers of Syrians to provide them relief and social services, calling on the international community to give due support to countries that bear the brunt of hosting refugees and providing them with relief and support. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with his Mauritanian counterpart, Dr. Eselku Oeld Ahmed Izid Bih, on the sidelines of the 72nd session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York. Sheikh Khaled expressed his honour and appreciation for the fraternal relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Islamic Republic of Mauritania and their continuous development based on common interests. Sheikh Khalid expressed his thanks and appreciation for Mauritania's support of Bahrain's measures to confront terrorism and all those who support or finance it. Dr. Eselku Royal Ahmed Izid Bih affirmed the strength of the long-standing relations between the two nations, reiterating his country's support for the Kingdom and its total rejection of security threats or interference in internal affairs praising the tireless efforts of the Kingdom to maintain Arab security. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Foreign Minister of the Republic of Sudan, Professor Ibrahim Ahmed Khandor, on the sidelines of the 72nd session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York. During the meeting, Sheikh Khaled hailed the fraternal relations between Bahrain and Sudan and the significant steps taken to expand joint cooperation in light of the care and interest of the two countries' leaders to strengthen and enhance relations in all fields of cooperation for the benefit of both countries and peoples. The Foreign Minister also met with the Swiss Confederation's Secretary of State for Foreign Affairs, Pascal Beresfil, where he affirmed the importance of exchanging visits between Bahrain and Switzerland's officials to develop areas of joint cooperation and coordinate positions on regional and international issues and in various forums. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of the Maldives, Dr. Mohammed Asim. Both parties discussed ways to enhance cooperation and develop bilateral relations to contribute to the common interests of the two countries. They also discussed regional and international issues of common interest in light of the common goal to promote security and peace in the world. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Federal Democratic Republic of Nepal's Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Krishna Bahadur Mahara. They reviewed the course of friendly relations between Bahrain and Nepal and ways to further expand them in fields that serve the interests of both countries. They also discussed the issues on the agenda of the 72nd session of the United Nations General Assembly. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Secretary General of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, OIC, Dr. Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Athmin, on the sidelines of the 72nd session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York. The Foreign Minister hailed the contributions of the Secretary General to developing the work of the OIC in line with regional and international developments to meet the aspirations of the Islamic peoples and development and peace. He also hailed the role of the OIC in dealing with the challenges faced by the Islamic world and defending the issues of Islam and Muslims, spreading the values of tolerance and moderation and promoting dialogue and understanding amongst all people. 
For his part, Dr Yusuf expressed his thanks and appreciation to the Kingdom of Bahrain for supporting the organisation and its activities, as well as its role in reinforcing stability, security and peace in the region, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Kingdom of Bahrain's ambassador to the United Kingdom, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, has presented his credentials to His Majesty King Felipe VI of Spain as a non-resident ambassador, where he affirmed Bahrain's keenness to strengthen the deep-rooted historic relations that connect Bahrain and Spain in various fields of common interest. Sheikh Fawaz conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to King Felipe VI, along with their wishes of development and progress for Spain and its people. For his part, King Felipe VI conveyed his greetings to His Majesty King Hamad and the wise leadership, welcoming Sheikh Fawaz as an ambassador and wishing him and the embassy success. For this occasion, the ambassador hosted a reception ceremony, which was attended by a number of Spanish officials, as well as a number of Gulf, Arab and foreign ambassadors accredited to Spain, and representatives from the Arab League and the Arab House in Spain. During the visit, meetings were held with a number of Gulf ambassadors and a number of Spanish foreign ministry officials in the protocol management team, as well as Middle East and Human Rights Directorates, where they discussed topics of common interest. They expressed gratitude for the honourable and positive positions adopted by both countries towards each other in various international and regional forums, looking forward to consolidating and strengthening them for the benefit of both countries and their peoples. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority commemorated Saudi Arabia's National Day today by distributing gifts to visitors coming into Bahrain through Bahrain International Airport. Heba Abdul Ghaffar brings us this report. In line with the deep bilateral Bahraini-Saudi relations and strong historic ties between the two kingdoms, celebrations of the Saudi National Day started today on receiving the Saudi brothers coming to enjoy their holiday through Bahrain International Airport. From Bahrain Airport Services, I am happy to receive so many Saudi today to celebrate with us Saudi National Day. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority receives visitors with pleasure and hospitality, distributing lovely presents in celebration. Saudi travelers were so delighted that Bahrain shares celebrating their national occasion, which reflects the strength of the excellent relations bonding the two kingdoms. This is like a great moment, um, uh, sharing our uh, or celebrating with us with Saudi uh, Kingdom and uh, I'd like to use this moment just to uh, congratulate uh, King Salman and uh, Prince Mohammed bin Salman and all the Saudi population or Saudi uh, citizens for our uh, 87th uh, National Day. Thanks Bahrain. Thank you Bahrain for celebrating Saudi National Day. Thank you Bahrain. Thank you Bahrain. Bahrain and Saudi has a long-term uh, relationship and uh, celebrating Saudi National Day in Bahrain is something really nice since Bahrain is like uh, our second home. We always come here and it's uh, really, uh, we really enjoy our time in uh, Bahrain. Thank you for the celebrating National Day in Bahrain. Uh, the, the Bahrain is uh, the, the best of uh, my home. Uh, thank you for uh, Bahrain. Thank you Bahrain for sharing our, our, our National Day. Saudi National Day is celebrated in Saudi Arabia on every 23rd of September to commemorate the establishment of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia by King Abdul Aziz back in 1930. Mutual love and respect between the two peoples leave a great model for brotherly relations. Here from Bahrain's International Airport, Saudis along with Bahrainis celebrate the Saudi National Day. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. On the occasion of the 87th Saudi National Day, Saudi citizens also made their way into the kingdom via the causeway to celebrate the start of their national holidays. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. On the occasion of the 87th Saudi National Day and in consideration of the strong and historical Bahraini Saudi ties, the Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs has taken steps to facilitate traffic at the King Fahad Causeway as it works to full capacity, marking Saudi Arabia's National Day. We are coming here just to celebrate our uh, National Day, the 87th uh, National Day to Bahrain. 
so it's a good chance to spend time with family here. Really, I'm proud for the National Day of Saudi Arabia, so we have three days to go and enjoy. We are coming to Bahrain to celebrate this occasion, and uh, I hope every year we do that the same. Everything is settled down and normal, everything. I hope that. This is the our right seventh uh, Saudi, uh, Saudi National Day now. Uh, actually, we're here because we have some family members came from Jeddah. Now we're going to visit the Lost Paradise Dalman here. So just to spend one day there with the family. We've been surviving in seven years. It's good for us. It's a good record. Inshallah, we reach 1,000 years, inshallah. Uh, we are proud of Saudi Arabia, of course. I'm proud of our kingdom, our, our nationality. About 50,000 travelers crossed the King Fahd Causeway into Bahrain at the start of the National Day holidays. Saudis who crossed the 25-kilometer link between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia celebrated by parading their cars in the main avenues of the capital of the kingdom. We're celebrating here with our brothers and we, when we go to Bahrain, we don't feel like we're away actually. And uh, I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure that gonna, they're going to be celebrating with us. We're going to be all happy because it's a brotherhood here, and uh, they feel as much as we feel that uh, Saudi about Saudi National Day, and uh, as 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 uh, everybody here is is uh, really proud of uh, what we what we are today, and w and that we have a clear vision for tomorrow, and uh, yeah, so we're so glad, and we are here to celebrate with our brothers in Bahrain, uh, which I'm sure they are all uh, also happy about uh, our National Day. I wish everybody a very national, uh, happy National Day to all Saudi Arabia people. And uh, we are very happy and glad to see the Bahraini people here. They are just welcoming the Saudi people very much. And we are just proud of you people. And uh, I'm, I'm very glad really to see all of you. So very nice of you people. Uh, hats off to Bahraini people and hats off to Saudi Arabia. Those driving through expressed pride in marking the Saudi National Day on an occasion which is dear to all Bahraini, GCC and Arab citizens. Given the status of Saudi Arabia as the destination for more than 2 billion Muslims. Proud day for both Saudi Arabia and Bahrain, a day which reflects Saudi Arabia's distinguished position in the hearts of Bahrainis. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. Bahraini citizens honored Saudi citizens on their 87th National Day at the King Fahad Causeway, which represents not just a terrestrial link between both countries, but also the Bahraini-Saudi people's common destiny. I'd really like to thank you very much, and uh, both Bahrain and Saudi Arabia are one country, and I would like to thank our uh, governors, our rulers, and God bless them all, and God bless Bahrain and Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. This is uh, our national day and I hope uh, it's uh, good for our country and Bahrain country. I am very happy with uh, my national day, with my family. <laughs> it will be a nice day. Thank you for everybody from uh, Bahrain and Saudi Arabia for this service. I hope the national days came over and over for uh, KSA and all the neighbors country. And we are doing good. I would appreciate this. We are in uh, our second country and thank you for everyone and uh, يعني, happy national day.